All right, good morning, everybody. Instead of doing a live right now, I'm going to, we'll go on live in a little while. I'm going to upload a little video, you guys, about bondage. Excuse me. Amazing. You guys, you know all these traditions, these holidays. It's all bondage. It's what it is. Putting you underneath the elements, the rudiments, the things of this world where Satan is the God of, the spirit of Christmas. There's nothing in the Bible that says the spirit of Christmas. It's what it says is the spirit of the world, the ways, the things of this world, your ways are not my ways. Deuteronomy 6, 12. Then beware lest thou forget the Lord, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Yeah, and here they are. They want to go back into bondage, you know, celebrating these holidays. Is it any different than, than when they celebrated that calf, dancing around that calf? I don't think so. Deuteronomy 8, 14. They make it look good like it is, but it's not. You know, what, I mean, how, how is that worshiping the Lord? How is it's not? Deuteronomy 8, 14. Then thy heart be lifted up. And thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Deuteronomy 13, 5. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, to thrust thee out of the way, which the Lord thy God commanded thee to walk in. So shalt thou put the evil away from the midst of you. See, you guys, this is what this is. Speaking of that, I want to tell you a dream that I had this morning. I had one that was kind of like filthy, and I turned away and I woke up from it, and then I ended up going back to sleep again, and <laughs> this one, I was like in a uh, pretty big place, man. Like in a barn is what it was. I was like in a barn and there was like all kinds of like stacks of hay or whatever behind me or something that looked goldish. And uh, then I seen some bows coming in. Bows. Like, you know, bows that you would use to shoot with. I seen bows coming in. And then flaming arrows, flaming arrows were coming in, you know. But I was in a barn. Lots of them. And nothing, nothing was happening to me, you know. But I was seeing lots and lots of it. It was like, it was definitely a very spiritual dream, man. You know, I couldn't tell where they were coming from. They were just coming in, you know, lots of them. And I also seen bows, lots of bows. Probably about five bows, but lots of arrows coming in. Flaming arrows. They're like burning arrows. <laughs> you guys, these dreams, man, I'm telling you. Ah, I'll be glad when this is over. Deuteronomy 26.6. And the Egyptians evil entreated us and afflicted us and laid upon us hard bondage. Here's me. How is it people are not able to see they bend over backwards to meet these calendar dates year after year with everything else that they set up, set on them? These holidays are nothing more than bondage. They have been led to error and they follow these things with everything else they do. Churches are decorating Christmas and Easter and Halloween, and even from celebrating the dead according to their calendars. You know, they do. It says, I will have, you don't celebrate the dead. And, oh, President Washington, President Abraham, you know, oh, America, you know. And they don't know this place was set up by the Pope, the Vatican. They don't know it. Everything else they do, okay, according to their calendars. 
and even using Christ to make it look good by saying it's his birthday or things like that. Things like that. You know, we're supposed to come out of bondage, man. Remember, we're going to be gathered into the barn. Okay, you guys. Colossians 2.8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy, vain deceit, after the traditions of men. And you tell me these holidays ain't the traditions of men. They're calendars. It's all of men. Their calendars are not the word of God. And after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ, was not the bondwoman cast out with their child? Uh, yeah, I believe so. When then being born free, would you want to go back under bondage? Exodus 6.6. 6. Wherefore, say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and, the, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of Egypt, and I will rid you out of the, their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments. And Moses spoke, all right, Exodus 6, 9, and Moses spoke so unto the children of Israel, but they hearkened not unto Moses for anguish of spirit and for cruel bondage. I know, Personally, I know this. Christmas spirit in, is not in the spirit of God. And you cannot enter into his rest while under these things of the world, following the traditions of men and not after God. How do you enter when, when you're, how do you enter into his rest while you're still celebrating amongst the evil laws that are being passed and you're still celebrating the things of this world, man's traditions, you can't. That's why these people can't hear us when we talk. They say they see, but everything they do tells me they're blind. They answered him, we be Abraham's seed. This is John eight thirty three. We be Abraham's seed. We were never on, in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, you shall make us, we shall be made free. In other words, anybody who sins is a bonded, is a slave to sin. You know, we were never in bondage. Well, they're in bondage now. They just can't see it. <clears throat> Romans eight fifteen, For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but have received the spirit of adoption. Okay, why we cry, Abba, Father. You know? You don't cry out about Father while you're celebrating Christmas and New Year's and all these holidays while they keep passing new laws more perverted than the other. You know, and it just keeps getting more wicked and uh, they keep celebrating their holidays and, you know, like nothing's happened. This is why I say, how evil does it have to get before you cry out to the Lord? After your celebrations which you do year after year with the evil bondage they put on you and your children? Are you ready for 2023 and what that year will bring you? Will you be able to repent for having been deceived and following after other gods each year and not after Christ? Do you really think your ways are the right way by your traditions you made up by the by your vain imaginations you think that they were uh when christ was preaching this they had all these holidays we have today you think in christ's teachings what he was teaching us it had anything to do with what we do today of course not galatians 2 4 and that because of the false brethren unaware brought in who came in privately to spy out your liberty, which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring you into bondage. And they did by using Christ and stuff. Oh, Christmas, it's an opportunity for us to spread Christ. You know, they, they'll say anything. There's so much, so lies. 
Galatians 4, 3. Even so, we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. Galatians 4, 3. Or 4, 10, I'm sorry. You observe days, months, and the times, and the years. That's what they do when they're doing their holidays and everything. Certain days, certain times, certain years, you know, and months. Every month. They got something just like they got games. You know, they're going to have the Super Bowl coming up after this Christmas. They're going to have the New Year to come on, and then the other games, and more games, and, you know, and then who knows what comes. I don't even keep up with them. There's so many. Galatians 4.11, I am afraid of you, lest I have bestowed upon you, you labor in vain. Now, this is what I'm saying here. Were you keeping the traditions when these were written? You know, when Paul wrote all this, were these traditions being celebrated then? No. Are you still willing to be stiff-necked? <laughs> yeah, they talk, they read about that, how the Hebrews are stiff-necked. Man, why, why were they so stubborn? And they are now. And hold on to these things that were made. See, even uh, Jesus was telling the Pharisees, your traditions, your ways, you make God's word of no effect. Same thing happened here now with all their traditions. You know, they made it ear-tickling. They don't realize they're up against the devil doing this too. And the devil deceived the whole world. Galatians 5.1 Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ made you free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. That's what all these things are. 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 19 Well, they promise them liberty. They themselves are the servants of corruption. These are the people you vote for. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same he is brought back into bondage. Proverbs 2.13 Who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. Who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked. You know, even after they voted in Trump, you know, and he brought in warp speed by the military, which is war on the seed. Take the P out of uh, warp and take the P out of speed. Just like Trump Pence with P's. Huh? Trump P, Pence P. Take the P out of Pence or Trump. And it'll say Trump Pence. Same thing. Just take one P out. Well, when he brought out Operation Warp Speed, take the P out of warp and take the P out of speed, and you got war seed. Satan makes war on the seed. Okay? But even after they voted in Trump, Trump turned around and said, I'm okay with men or women using either bathroom in the Trump Tower. He goes, it's a law. It got passed. That's just the way it is. Happy New Year. You know, we'll have another year. And then when he made his speech saying, you knew damn well who I was when you voted me in. That snake, that bitch you. You guys, that's all they are. They're they're blind and they keep doing it. And they, they're not listening to us. But anyhow, you guys, we're getting so much closer. This video's for those who are awake. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, it's not it's not going to be for them because they won't be able to hear it. They like it where they're at. Okay, Proverbs two fifteen or fourteen and fifteen. Who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and they forward in their paths. Matthew, excuse me. 1125 or 27. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. N neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he 
to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. See, you guys, I know what that means, okay, when I read that. That means if Jesus chooses to reveal the Father to you, you'll, you know, you'll see him. That's what I'm saying. There's things that are happening now that were meant for now, not for throughout the scriptures, you know. I've, I've got received certain things and photos that I've taken and videos and seen things in there and they show came out on it. And uh, not everybody can see it. And I've showed them to some people and they're like, whoa, you know, wow, you know, it's mind blowing. But not everybody can see it. You know, it's hidden from them. It's just like scripture says. All right. John seventeen three, And this is life, that they might know thee, the only true God in Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Man, I'm telling you, you get all these traditions and all this garbage out of the way, because that's what it is. They piled a lot of garbage on you, so that way you can't get into the pure word of God, you know, and be... Uh, uh, abiding in it, you know. See, in the spirit of God, not in the spirit of Christmas. That's not being in the spirit of God. It's the spirit of the world. 17.4 I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou hast gave me to do. Do you think these holidays is what Christ came here to give us to do? No way. Jesus, in his own words, he said, he came here to do the work that the Father sent him to do, and he finished it. But look at how the people have turned back to the bondage, the elements of the world, with their traditions, with their ways. And they won't hear it. They refuse. They're stiff-necked. You'll never get me to believe the ways that they're following is what Jesus came here to teach people. These are tares who refuse to turn away from the, this evil. They have been led to trust and even letting them teach doctrines of men to their children in schools, evolution, with their traditions, all these things. They're all an abomination against the word of God. Awake to right, uh, 1 Corinthians fifteen thirty four. Awake to righteousness, sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. Jonah 1.6 So the shipmaster came to him, and he said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon your God, so that we will not, that God will not think upon us, that we perish not. That was when a Jonah tried to run away from God. <clears throat> it's kind of what people are doing now. I'm going to cut this video short because they take forever to load up. Then we'll come in and we'll go live and I'll pick up on this, okay? Ephesians 5.14 Wherefore he says, Awake thou that sleepest, arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. See then you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. All right, you guys. God bless each and every one of you. I love you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we're going to be picking back up on this Bible.